we work very hard to protect this small group of animals. There are only several hundred black-footed ferrets in the wild and 300 in captivity. 180 of those live in Fort Collins at the National Black-Footed Ferret Conservation Center, where people go to great lengths to protect the rare species. We are worried that humans would bring in the disease. So great was the fear of these ferrets getting COVID-19 that research scientist Tony um, Rocky and so that got our attention began um, looking into we a way to vaccinate uh, them. If it uh, would happen similar to what happened in mink farms, it could be very devastating to their program. In Denmark, humans killed 17 million minks at farms because of COVID-19 outbreaks in November. Minks are a close relative of the black-footed ferret, but not an endangered species. In May, Rocky and other researchers began a trial for the ferrets here with an experimental COVID-19 vaccine. The vaccines that they're developing for humans um, are very different than this. By August, they had vaccinated 120 of the 180 ferrets in captivity in Colorado. We're not involved in developing human vaccines, but as you probably know, um, animal vaccines can be uh, developed maybe a little bit faster. Rocky still doesn't know for sure if the ferrets are protected because they don't believe they have had a COVID-19 exposure. There is hope the vaccine they used could help other animals too. Katie Eastman, Nine News.